Hi there, let's have a look at a macro multiple choice question. And this is on the topic of external shocks to the macro economy. Here's the question. Which one of the following would be regarded as a supply side shock for the UK economy? In other words, which one of the following is going to cause a shift in aggregate supply? Keep in mind, of course, that a shock is an external event, an unexpected economic event, which creates disequilibrium in the economy. So which one of the following is regarded as a supply side shock? Let's work our way through the answers. What about an economic downturn in the United States affecting UK exports? That's that's not right. That's more likely to be a demand side shock. C plus I plus G plus X, of course. What about a rise in interest rates discouraging, discouraging borrowing? Well, interest rates is a cost to a firm, and it's not a supply cost. And again, a rise in interest rates is more likely to be a demand side shock. So B is wrong. Rising oil and gas prices increasing the costs of UK firms. That sounds more like it. Anything which affects the unit costs of supply, an unexpected fall or an unexpected increase in this case in the price of crude oil and gas, that is going to be a supply side shock. So the answer is C. Let's just double check with D. A rise in tax rates imposed on household incomes. Of course, that's not affecting the supply side of the economy. That's affecting the disposable income of households. And therefore, that an unexpected rise in tax would be a demand side shock. So three of the four answers there are affecting aggregate demand. C is right, it affects aggregate supply. Here's a great chance just to very quickly revise demand side shocks and supply side shocks. So demand side shocks are unexpected events affecting the conditions of aggregate demand. It could be a recession or a downturn in the economy of a major trading partner, maybe an unexpected tax change or welfare reform. Uh, the global financial crisis, the credit crunch, of course, was a major demand side shock to many countries. And, for example, maybe a bigger than expected rise or fall in the rate of unemployment. Supply side shocks affect costs. They affect the supply capability of businesses at a macro level. So changes in oil and gas prices, changes in the price of many other commodities, such as copper and rubber and cement and that kind of stuff. Uh, political turmoil and strikes, big and widespread industrial action can be a supply side shock, as well as severe climatic changes, natural disasters, such as drought and flooding and tsunamis and earthquakes. And supply side shocks can also be quite positive, in particular when there's an unexpected breakthrough or advance at the cutting edge of production and technology. So keep in mind that shocks can happen on the demand and the supply side, and they feature on multiple choice questions. Thank you.